Hey guys, open Dragon Mouth number 30. Uh, you probably saw in my previous video a couple weeks ago that I upgraded my laptop to Windows 10. There have been some glitches uh, after I downloaded and installed everything, but it looks like uh, since then those problems have been spoofed out. It, it's now mostly my graphics card that seems to be having trouble uh, keeping up with this, and I'm hoping that uh, Intel will fix this problem and get everything smoothed out. But, but uh, as of right now, looks like everything is stable, and uh, I can get everything going without worrying about anything. But uh, right now, this um, in this video, it's all going to be about movies, because... That's pretty much the only thing I have going on right now. Well, uh, first off, there is um, um, a movie that has been announced by Lionsgate. It will be released on January 15th, uh, 2016. It's called Norm of the North. Now, this is about a polar bear that, that travels um, to America to prevent... Um, to prevent uh, people from moving to his home um, in the Arctic. I've watched the whole trailer, and honestly, I don't like it. It's got environmentalist undertones, um, and, the, and the fact that people uh, think that this was actually a costume bear. Uh, there is actually a man that is in a polar bear costume, but... He even thinks that Norm is a costume. And, um, I mean, we do get a brief look at the antagonist uh, is, who seems to want to industrialize um, the Antarctic, put in shopping malls and all that stuff. And now I'm not sure who exactly um, owns the land over there, but I'm pretty sure that he can't just move in and, and make a, a tourist attraction himself. I'm pretty sure he can't do that. There was just, I'm just seeing some problems in this trailer, and what makes this worse, it stars Rob Schneider. Haven't I seen him in too many bad movies to know that he shouldn't be doing this? And, and there's also been a little history with Lionsgate. Yes, they've been known for Alpha and Omega, but they've also been known for direct-to-DVD uh, video sequels, and, which usually are a sign that they're bad. Um, and just seeing this trailer, I'm, I'm just not excited about this. And this was going to go up against uh, Nut Job 2, but... But Nutjob 2 uh, had decided to move their release date uh, to, um, I think it was uh, in March, if I'm correct. Um, I'm going to check on uh, IMDB and see if... Okay, so, um, yeah, Nutjob 2... Um... Alright, it now says that um, right now it's, it's giving me the Canadian... Uh, released, uh, which will be January 22nd. I am trying to look for the American uh, release. And I... I'm not really sure, but um, I'm... But what I what I do know is that it, um, it will be uh, not at the same time as Norma of the North. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So yeah, it's right now it's only, only giving me the Canadian... A release date. I don't have one for the American release date yet. Um, there's also um, a Kung Fu Panda 3 that, is also, um, that was also scheduled for um, January. And, and it was supposed to be released this year, but uh, because Star Wars is, is coming out they had to move over uh, to March of 2016, 
And then they had decided to move it again. And uh, let's see. Where, uh, where did they put it this time? Uh, not to mention that um, there's been uh, some confusion uh, as, as far as the, uh, the trailers. Because they at first it was... Um, yeah, uh, I know it was an Asian trailer. I forget what it was, whether it was Chinese or what. Uh, but right now, um, its release date is now scheduled for January 29th. Uh, also, um, Lionsgate had also announced that they would be uh, distributing an um, MLP, a French Advanced Magic uh, movie, in 2017, and um, they gave they gave a vague synopsis of what it's going to be. Um, I'll quote it directly from here: A new dark force threatens Ponyville and the main six. Um, they embark on an unforgettable journey beyond Equestria, where they meet new friends and exciting challenges on a quest to use the magic of friendship and save their home. Um, the MLP film will feature all new music from the, with the <coughs> pardon me, uh, with the main six characters voiced by Tara Strong, Kathy uh, Wisluck, uh, Andrea um, Libman, Tabitha Saint Germain, and Ashley Ball. Jason uh, Thiessen is directing. Brian Goldner and Stephen Davis are produced in the film with Megan McCarthy. And Michael uh, Vogel, um, co-executive producing. So, so yeah, that's a very vague synopsis. It doesn't really tell me much. Then again, it is early, and it's not expected to re be released until 2017. So, we'll just have to see what happens. Um... So a little step away from Lionsgate and, uh, and go to a little update with Zootopia. Uh, they've now revealed that uh, Shakira will be in this uh, movie and will be uh, playing a so-called Zootopia's biggest pop star, which will be a gazelle. Um, and the pop star uh, said that she will be performing a song called Try Everything. Now, now, this was announced at uh, D23. Um, the footage of the, um, of the movie was shown. Um, it was It's actually the first footage of the movie, um, aside from the, uh, the trailer, which really didn't show uh, much. Um, they've shown footage of um, the protagonists, uh, Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps, um, with their first meeting, and a scene um, at a sloth run uh, DMV. Yeah, I get um, that's that's actually uh, sounds funny. Um, uh, there, there's also um, uh, the missing mammal case. Uh, that is the basis of the, of the plot. Is actually a missing otter. Uh, so. So with that, uh, Shakira um, is the fourth um, voice actor announced for this movie. We are, we've already announced that uh, Jason Bateman, Jennifer Goodwin, and uh, the only other one that uh, hasn't um, been re revealed for his role yet is Alan uh, um, Tudyk, uh, however you want to say that. Um, so we'll have to see... Uh, Let's see what um, happens there. Um, uh, Tudyk or Tudyk, uh, however you want to say it, uh, he played King Candy for uh, uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Um, so he might play the antagonist uh, from what it sounds like. We'll have to see. Um, and what else? Oh, Disney is now going to be doing a uh, direct-to-TV movie in November. And uh, it's going to be called The Lying Guard, uh, Return of the Roar. 
doesn't have the same charm as Lion King. Uh, but this is supposed to be a prelude uh, to a new anime series called The Lion Guard, which will be uh, starting in 2016. And it's going to be about uh, the son of um, uh, Simba called Keon, uh, who is forming a new Lion Guard team. Uh, traditionally, the uh, the pride's uh, bravest adult lions to police the African savanna. Uh, with his own juvenile friends, uh, Bunga, who is a honey badger, Ono, who is a uh, egret, Fuli, who is a cheetah, and Beshte, um, you know, all these um, weird names, um, uh, who is a hippo. Their adversaries will include um, the juvenile sons of the uh, hyenas. And it's obvious that the. Uh, uh, that is crazy. That uh, that crazy hyena, Ed, has a son. Who would have thought? Who. What hyena had, had looked at Ed and said, Oh, yeah, I want some of that. Go get some. Uh, um. But yeah, I'm uh, starting to steer into touchy territory there. Um, the only thing I can say is we'll have to see. I mean, Lion King um, is one of the most popular movies in 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 the Disney Company. To have a, a little, I don't know if I would call it a spinoff, but. Yeah, but uh, but more of a um, a new chapter in, in into the uh, the storyline, and uh, this is um, from what it looks like it's going to be uh, on um, the Disney Junior section of, of the Disney Channel, um, which a lot of the sh uh, a lot of the shows I am not a fan of. Uh, I've I've I don't know if I've mentioned before that I went to the stage show uh, based on the Disney Junior, and it, it was bad. If I had shown you a video of it, um, I, w I would I would have been bashing that that show, and uh, I had given it a two out of ten. That's how bad it was. Um, but I'm I was back in Florida um, last week. Um, it was mainly uh, to help uh, my sister move to a new apartment, but I did stop by Hollywood Studios, and there has been a few changes over there, and I will be uploading a video shortly after this one uh, to do a revisit of one attraction that has gone through a little change. But uh, for right now, I think that is it for me. This dragon's mouth is now closing.